Now in this lesson on subtraction, we're going to use the jumping method. Let's look at some examples. You've got 65 minus 34. So let's think about minus 34 firstly. Now, if we subtract 34, we're going to break it up into three jumps of 10 and then four jumps of one. And we're jumping backwards because we're subtracting. So let's use a number line there to help us out. There's 65. Now three jumps of 10. One, two, three. There's our three jumps of 10. So how far have we moved? We've gone from 65, 55, 45, 35. Then we need to do four jumps of one. One, two, three, four. There's our four jumps of one. So we're at 35. Let's go back. 34, 33, 32, 31. Our answer there equals 31. What about using our hands to help us out with the same question? Our left hand, let's do the jumps of 10 on that. Our right hand will do the jumps of 1. So we're thinking, we're starting with 65. We've got to do three jumps of 10. So let's go. We're going from 65, 55, 45, 35. Okay, there's our three jumps of 10. Now four jumps of 1. So we're at 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. And that, of course, matches up with the answer we found using the number line to help us out. Terrific. The next one, 84 minus 21. Well, we are subtracting 21. So we think of that as two jumps of 10 and then one jump of 1. Let's use our hands again, okay, using our left for the 10s, our right for the 1s. So we're starting with 84. We need to do two jumps of 10. So let's go 84, 74, 64. Okay, there's our two jumps of 10. And then we've only got to do one jump of 1, 63. So our answer there equals 63. The next one, 70 minus 42. So we're subtracting 42, which is four jumps of 10 and two jumps of 1. So let's use our hands, okay, the tens and the ones. Now we're starting with 70. So we're thinking 70. We've got to do four jumps of 10. So 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Okay, there's our four jumps of 10. Now two jumps of 1. So we're at 30, 29, 28. Our answer there equals 28. Excellent. Well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.